uh, the Upper Grand Cathedral key. Uh, so if you're not there now, so you want to get in once I learn how to speak English, you're going to want to use a uh, bold hunter's mark. Uh, that way you don't lose your blood echoes to uh, get to the nearest lamp. And I'm going to go ahead and assume you don't have the second. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, quicker if you have the second lamp, which is uh, the one in the, uh, the chapel in the Unseen City. So I'm just going to go into the Hunter's Dream and I'm going to go to the first lamp that you come to. That's going to be the one you get uh, right past you go past um, Amadala, the, the, I don't know, the fucking spider. Um, so that lamp that you get to right as you go past that spider. Um, if you've got that lamp already or you've gone past the, you know, the stu that stupid ass spider after, you know, Killing the spider past Bergenworth. Um, that's the lamp we're going to go to. And it's the second lamp up, I believe. Yeah. So go to Yargol Unseen City. That's the first warp zone you're going to have at this, uh, this headstone. So we're going to go there. And uh, from there, I can, once you're there, if you have that, assuming you have that, you can get the key and uh, go to the, uh, the Upper Grand Cathedral. That'll open up two different bosses for you, and it's also going to open up a really nice place to, uh, I suppose if you're into that farm, um, what are they it's going to open a great place to farm bloodstone chunks. That'll help you uh, level up your, you know, your weapon. So get to this lamp. You're going to be very familiar with this if you've done this level. Or if you're just getting here because you're going to notice that asshole right there with the uh, fucking cage on his head. It's the dumbest shit ever, but it's not. It's really not. It's really creepy. Mithalash is one creepy guy. But um, anyway, yeah, so you're going to go here. You're going to fight these assholes. Um, I suggest once you've killed the first guy with the gun, just uh, run past him. Like, run past all these guys. That guy will go. These guys follow you up. You can kill them. It's easier on you. Down. Well, that fucking sucks. Anyway, um, assuming you don't get blocked next to a statue, uh, you can kill whoever follows you up and then just run straight through the second guy with the gun. Kill the two guys with the gun on the inside of the building, which I will show you once I get to it. I got fucking blocked by a, a statue. Um, otherwise, they're gonna, like... Uh, kill everybody with a gun while you can, and then whoever follows you up, kill them. If you get there at this point, um, you can just run straight through and go into the building. And kill them once you're in the building, um, that way you don't get thwarted by the little asshole sitting on the building. And you can get rid of the, uh, the heavy hitters very quickly. The rest of them, um, don't do Better access to that bell ringing lady, that, that bitch who is hiding up there. Uh, she's resurrecting all your enemies, which is why when you first get here, if you haven't played the game before, it's a little unsettling. Uh, they keep resurrecting themselves. It's, it's just, so just kill her um, after killing those guys, because it's going to take her a minute to resurrect them. And uh, then you can, you know, proceed. So, go out the building, there are no enemies hiding here, this is safe space. And uh, once you do, go in here, because that door over there, it's, it's quicker to go through this door, but you're not going to have it opened, it's, uh, you know, a nice, it's a nice uh, shortcut, but you're not going to have it opened if this is the first time you've been here, which uh, I'm going to assume it is. Uh, there's going to be a guy that morphs out of that blood stain once you go past it. So be uh, careful, look behind you before getting attacked by this guy. And uh, once you kill him, you can you know, go after the fatty. Dodge around him, and he hits hard. And uh, assuming you've got you know, enough 
stamina, which I'm gonna assume you do. But uh, yeah, dodge around him. Don't let him hit you, because once he does, uh, if he hasn't leveled up enough, or as much as I have, uh, he's going to, well, he's gonna kill you. Uh, there's some really good items over here, by the way, if you haven't grabbed them, so go ahead and grab those. And then go through this doorway. Ignore everything in this doorway. The first person you want to kill is that asshole with the gun. Uh, unless you're really pissed off that he's so ready to kill him first. Dodge the gun. Um, and then kill the guy with the gun. Which is... Away! Away! ...that you the rest behind you because... He's killed the bell ringing bitch. From there, you're gonna want to go down the staircase. Um, you're gonna notice there is a, uh, a doorway right here. Um, just run straight through the doorway. And then go up the stairs. Ignore everything. Go up the stairs. You're gonna, they're gonna try to swarm you. Ignore it. Jump down. Go in here. Kill this bell ringing bitch. And uh, be mindful if you're not quick about killing her, you're gonna die because there is a fatty right there. He also hits hard and he uh, has a shield that he will hit you with. Dodge around him, don't let him hit you. Uh, bam attack him if you have enough stamina. Um, I I've got a couple runes equipped. By the way, if you uh, don't have them yet, they're super useful, and uh, I, I have no problem showing you this right now because I've killed that bitch, so that fatty's not going to resurrect, but uh, I have some really nice runes equipped on my weapon. Um, let's see if I can show you what I have. <gasps> Did I just equip my weapon? Oh shit. Let's see, I have... I'm calling them runes. They're blood gems. I'll show you when I get back to the Hunter's Dream because after this I'm going to show you how to uh, get to the Upper Grand Cathedral. But um, after you've done all that in here, go to this hole in the wall. That's what the fatty was guarding. Jump down. Um, it's not going to show for me because I've already uh, acquired this item. But he's going to be holding uh, that key to the Upper Grand Cathedral. So once you go ahead and grab that, use a bold hunter's mark and go back to the uh, first lamp you come to, or the one you just came from, assuming you're using the lamp that I used. Um, and from there you can uh, go ahead and grab, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, not gonna grab it. well you can grab whatever items you're going to need uh, to fight the um, the boss. There's a boss in the orphanage, which is what you're going through the choir. The Upper Grand Cathedral opens the level to the choir. Um, once you go through that whole level, uh, at the very top of the choir, you're going to find the orphanage key. That's going to open the main gate. So I can, I'm, I'm not going to show you because this is really self-explanatory, but uh, once you go through the whole level of the orphanage, you're going to find that key. I am going to show you how to get to the Upper Grand Cathedral. Um, I'm going to already assume you know where this is at if you're, you know, watching this. For those of you who aren't the person I'm making this video for. But uh, I'm going to assume you already know where that's at. But just in case, I'm going to show you how to get to the Upper Grand Cathedral. Um, it, it, this is honestly probably one of my favorite places in the game. Just because of... It. Once you play this game, you're going to realize some things, uh, if you've been paying attention to your lore, um, oh, my dog is whining, she wants out, I feel bad, I can't let her out right now, it's okay, Alma, sorry, um, anyway, so, go to this area, previously, um, you could, uh, take it up, and then you go, um, it's the only place you can go in this area is uh, to follow the yeah. actually into that uh, hidden part of Yarnum, which is actually where you need to go if you don't want to buy, if you don't want to spend 10,000 blood echoes. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Um, if you don't want to spend 10,000 blood echoes on the uh, key, uh, to, I suppose, get 
that, you know, that previously, that's actually for playing the game more, that's where I thought I could go on, at least. That's, a, that's a, what I thought this was mostly useful for. I just thought that's what this was. But then I came to the other part of the field too, and I was like, oh shit, two, uh, two optional bosses. <laughs> Make no mistake, they're not, they're not, you don't have to fight them. I think I originally went here so that I could resurrect uh, the Vile Blood Queen. Um, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, I was, yeah, anyway, so needless to say, I was wrong. Um, so, back to what I was saying. Oh, look, a fatty. I'm sorry. Why is it that I'm having more trouble with the low level fatty than I did with the two and the Anyway, so you're going to go to the very top of this uh, tower, which you might have done previously. Um, probably have done if you want to explore in here, like I did the first time, you know, getting to this area. Uh, either way, you're going to go to the very top. There's going to be another ladder. Somewhere close to here. There you are. You're gonna go to the very top. Um, oh yeah, back to what I was saying about the orphanage. Look, if you, if there's gonna be a spoiler here, so if you don't want that, I'll mute it. But about the orphanage, it's the Upper Green Cathedral. It houses the choir, which if you follow your lore, you're gonna know the choir is like the big baddies. They're like the most well-respected scholars, not like uh, in a Christian sense, they're just, you know, they're supposed to be you know, the most respected people in Yarno, which, by the way, if you're looking right now, but, um, they're the most respected people. Now, where's the orphanage? Maybe I'm wrong, but, um, an orphanage, and, you know, sometimes the things in Yarnum aren't exactly the same as they are in, you know, real life. Uh, the healing church certainly is no church that I know of, but, um, the orphanage, if you follow the term of what an orphanage is, it houses children, people without any responsible adult for them, and, like, fuck, the orphanage is in the choir, the choir is made of scholars, people from Bergenworth, people that Lawrence brought over with him to found the healing church, and they have the ex Executioners, you've got uh, Mikolash, who was endorsed by the orphanage, and like all these fucking jackasses up here, and what's inside the orphanage behind a whole bunch of uh, all those monsters guarding the gate? An orphanage, assuming this orphanage is housing children, and you've got your key hidden at the very top of the choir. These mo the most protected people in the healing church. You have to go through all of that just to get to the orphanage, and when you get to the orphanage, again, spoiler, you've got this boss, this celestial boss, and all these tiny little creatures guarding the celestial, you know, the, uh, what's the name of the boss? Um, hold on one second. I forgot the name, I'll tell you what the, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what the, uh, boss's name is, but, uh, the Celestial Emissary, and then you've got all these, like, little, the, the, uh, the game, the game wiki calls it the Celestial Mob. These little creatures that earlier in the game, if you went through the, uh, the Forbidden Wood, the Forbidden Forest, you're like, these jelly-like creatures, they're called, you know, Celestial whatever. They're, they're tiny, and then you got one big one, um, and if you go through the, uh, the DLC, you'll know what I'm talking about, uh, assuming you're playing through Maria's part of the DLC, and I'm not going to reveal anything about that. You got these little creatures and then this big one, and assuming that you know that the choir turns into the biggest bosses, the biggest monsters, being who they are, what is this telling you? You've got, fuck, you're in the, the, the choir experiments on people all the damn time. I'm gonna assume these little celestial creatures, the tiny ones, these 
mob of creatures that you're killing, those are children that were experimented on. The big one, I'm going to assume, was the uh, choir members sent to watch over them. And isn't, isn't that shitty? Like, these kids are going there for help, assuming they're, you know, their parents are... Assuming their parents are beasts or dead or still on the hunt or, or they just weren't wanted. For whatever reason, the kids go here for help and what happens? Horror. Like, this game is... I, I don't know. These... Fuck Yarnum. Yarnum fucking sucks. Anyway, so unlock those doors. Go up these stairs. And uh, you're gonna come to a bridge. Go across the bridge. And uh, that's gonna lead you to, one, the gate to the orphanage. Which you have to go through that whole tower to get to key. Go searching through the tower. Play through the uh, Grand Cathedral. Like the choir um, level. And then you'll find the key to the orphanage. And beat the orphanage boss. By the way, once you beat the boss in the orphanage, you're going to see some, uh, if you want another optional boss, you're going to see some uh, stained glass window, and uh, kind of like in uh, Dark Souls, I've been told there are illusionary walls. Go rolling at every wall until you find the one wall that, wall that you can roll through. They're uh, going to be stained glass. Roll yourself through that wall, break into it, and you're going to be in an upper level of... Uh, the cathedral, uh, the cathedral chapel or whatever it's called, that place where you fought, um, Vicar Amelia, uh, you're gonna find yourself in an upper area there, follow that to the little celestial being at the end of the path, go down the, um, elevator there, and you're gonna come to a second boss, uh, Abrita, daughter of the cosmos, kill her, and assuming you, uh, helped Alfred kill the vile blood, the vile blood queen, you can take what you can pick up off the Vile Blood Queen, the Queenly Flesh. You can use it on the altar, and you can resurrect her. Uh, which is what I did, because I love her. And I wanted to follow the end of Alfred's questline, but I still want to give her, like, hunter dregs, assuming you do PV player versus player. Um, but that's, you know, follow Alfred's questline, and that'll lead you to this. If you do this first, prior to doing that, um... It'll be a little uh, easier for you because you won't have to go through two bosses and it'll be a quick shot from Alfred going, you know, batshit crazy in the Vile Blood Queen's chamber to resurrecting her. Which, by the way, if you have done that and you haven't gone back to the little, uh, I suppose, temple, tombstone where you, the, the, where you first meet Alfred, or for me, the second time I met Alfred, um, go ahead and go there because Alfred's dead, man. He's dead. He killed himself. But anyway, yeah, that's enough for this video. Uh, God, I talk too much.